buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, I've got a really rare guitar for you today. I've never seen one of these before. I got my hands on it and uh, it is really, really unusual. Uh, it's a 1964 Hoyer 90th anniversary guitar. And I'm not even sure it was called a 90th anniversary guitar, but it's got a 90th anniversary stamped on the uh, inside the sound hole label. So I'm going to call it the 90th anniversary guitar for lack of a better name. Uh, the guitar is just really, really cool. Made in Germany. Uh, now the Hoyer people had been building guitars since 1948. But in the mid 60s is when they really started cranking them out like a lot of the guitar makers did. And this was really kind of their heyday. And uh, there's a lot of uh, German parts on it. Matter of fact, the, uh, the pickups on here, uh, I can't uh, tell you dis uh, distinctly that they're Hofner pickups, but they're certainly very Hofner-like. Uh, my pickup rewinder said, I swear those are Hofner pickups. And I went, oh, okay. But I can't, uh, I can't say that without uh, giving you a little proviso on it. But anyway, the guitar is in pretty cool shape. It's, uh, it, it's definitely been around. I, I got to say, it's got lots of finish checking across the, uh, the, the front of the guitar. Uh, the sides look like it might have gotten hot at some point in time because some of the lacquer looks like it, it kind of got shiny and then dull. And then, of course, uh, like a lot of the Gretches of the day, these plastic uh, bindings have cracked. Now, they're still in very, very good shape, and there isn't any of them that are missing. Any of these places are missing. Uh, and I wouldn't mess with it. Um, you know, it's just, they're on there, they're not going anywhere, but I want to tell you that they're cracked and it may be a problem someday down the road. So I just want to be sure to mention that. And then the back, of course, is in really uh, very nice shape. Again, it seems like it's missing some of the finish or uh, I, I don't believe that it has any overspray on it, uh, but it, it's really, really beautiful. It's got this mahogany uh, uh, back that's just really nice shape along with the sides. And uh, it's just a very high quality guitar. Now it's got all original parts with one exception, uh, the bridge. I put a, uh, one of my Harmony bridges that we make uh, on it because it fitted just perfect uh, and I thought it looked right. Uh, the holes that held, they would have had a, uh, a sliding uh, adjustable bridge on here and the holes had, had gotten so reamed out it wouldn't even hold the, the and they weren't the, the original uh, studs that, that raised them up and down anyway so we filled those holes. Now if you can find an original bridge it will be not any problem to drill those out and you probably uh, save yourself a lot of time by now having them already filled by my tech uh, but it sits right over those holes you can just barely see them right in here so the only thing that's not original is the uh, is the bridge uh, everything else including the spring on the tremolo the whammy bar is original even this pick guard's original on this guitar uh, the only thing it probably isn't is this uh, strap button that's uh, located here on the neck heel uh, tuners are correct. Uh, they're the double line Clusons. Used very high quality tuners on this and uh, it's just in great shape. Now I want to point out something I thought was interesting about this guitar. Uh, of course I sent it to Jeff the Tech and I said go over this guitar. I want to make sure you look at everything and make sure everything's okay. Uh, and he, uh, the angle of the neck was good which let me tell you why it's good. I assumed this was a uh, bolt for a bolt-on neck, it's not. And we just cannot figure out why that's on there. It's a set neck. Uh, if you have to readjust the angle, you're gonna have to steam the neck off like you would a Martin or, or a Gibson uh, because it's a set neck. Why they put this little plate on there, I have no idea. It doesn't do anything. It just, it's bolted into the back of the, of the guitar and uh, maybe they thought it looked cool and uh, most of the other guitars were set, or were, uh, were bolt-on, so maybe they were trying to fake you out. But anyway, uh, that, uh, is is original but it does not do anything okay so don't panic if you take it off and go wait a minute the neck didn't come off well it doesn't it's a set neck so that's really cool uh, the guitar plays really well <laughs> I gotta say, I love this neck pickup. It is so full of tone. It's just, it's just, I've never heard a pickup like it. It's, it's not Gibson. It's not Fender. It's, it's, uh, it's not Gretsch. It's not Guild. It's, must be a Hoffner. Uh, but anyway, it really sounds great. <laughs> And you know what? It would do great for jazz. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just, it's got a lot of character to it. When you go to the middle uh, middle position, you know, 
I think the, the front pickup is actually kind of dominating the sound of that because it doesn't sound like a, a traditional middle uh, position. <laughs> Let's go all the way to the back. This is really a fun guitar to play. The whammy too, by the way, uh, is original uh, and uh, it's very, very smooth. A lot of these, uh, the Germans were great about that. They over-engineered everything on guitars just like they did on cars and everything else. But it's one of the smoothest whammies I've ever used. I mean, it's, it's not at all like a, like a Strat, uh, I will tell you that and it doesn't bind like a harmony. Some, some of the harmonies will bind on you once in a while. This is just, I mean, you can be very, very subtle with this and it's just really nice. Uh, so that is really cool. And it's a really unusual guitar and if you're a German uh, guitar guy, uh, that would be a really cool guitar to have. Now I've got what I was told is the original case. Now, uh, let me tell you, it looks vintage correct. Uh, I would say that it's uh, definitely a mid 60s guitar uh, case and you'll see when I open it up uh, how I've arrived at that but it's got all the original uh, latches it's got the original handle it's got a, a really cool blue interior uh, which just speaks to uh, to mid 60s but I have to tell you uh, if it was the original case the uh, uh, store that sold it to him didn't sell him the right case <laughs> it's a little big uh, matter of fact I would probably say this is probably for a uh, bass guitar because the head stops right about here. Now I will tell you that the head uh, on this guitar is rather wide so my, my suspicion is this is probably about the only case that the guitar fit. So the guys said take that case. So it's been with this guitar forever according to the original owner and I don't doubt that. Uh, it's a nice case. It's got an accessory uh, box in here. Uh, there's just a little bit of damage at the at the butt end where you're always jamming the guitar in there so it's got some duct tape down there. But it's really in a fine shape. It'll do a great job of holding your guitar. If you can find a better fitting one, uh, have at it. But uh, for uh, this guitar you're going to get this original case with it. So if you're looking for a really neat, very thin, very unusual, different sounding guitar, this 1964 Hoyer is, is one for you. I got to tell you, uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, check it and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. Now I'll tell you, uh, we're about 30 days from the relaunch of our website and I am so excited about it. Uh, we're just really, really uh, uh, happy about how it's turning out. We've been previewing a lot of stuff. We're getting photos ready. Uh, we're making sure that it's going to be a great experience for all my customers to buy guitars on. You'll be able to buy accessories and all sorts of stuff there. So uh, watch for that. It's going to be coming out. We'll make a big splash when it gets here. Uh, but be sure to uh, be watching for that. And in the meantime, be, uh, feel free to go to Reverb.com where I'm a, a, a power seller with them. Uh, just go to Reverb.com and in the search uh, area, there's a drop down menu. You can uh, go to that where it says sellers, put in Lawman guitars, you'll see 180 of our guitars. I've got that many guitars, yes. So uh, they're all cool if they're not all vintage and we're probably 99% of those are vintage guitars. So check them all out at www.lawmanguitars.com and I really appreciate you all watching my videos. Thanks a lot.